What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I need to repaint some of these lures. Um, one of the lures that I love to use at Lake St. Clair is this Magic Swimmer. It used to be made by Sabil, but now it's made by Berkeley. I guess they bought them out. One of the hot patterns down there is called Peacock. I'm not sure why, um, but either way it works and I'm gonna be uh, replicating that today. Need some fluorescent yellow and the fluorescent green. And then just some black for the spots. So it's super simple and uh, I'll show you how I do it. Ready to go. So I'm gonna start with the fluorescent yellow and I'm gonna work on the belly here. should do it. All right, next up is the fluorescent green. I'm gonna start by doing the top here and just kind of blend it a little bit into the yellow there. there this one's a really 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 basic paint pattern nothing crazy here it's kind of nice being able to just paint these easy patterns you don't need too many crazy tools anyone can do it you don't want to go too heavy too fast you want to just keep this in layers here otherwise you'll get drips no one wants any drips on their lures that's looking pretty good. Check this side. Awesome, looks good. All right, we'll let this dry, clean out the paint gun, and then all that's left is to put on the peacock spots. All right guys, it's the next morning. I just wanted to let this dry overnight because I needed to make some stencils and I didn't want to be touching the wet paint with them, so. I just cut out these simple little patterns and use a piece of paper or plastic, whatever works for you. Then I made it double side so I can have the exact same pattern on the other side. So I'll get this all lined up and then we'll start with the white and then do some black after that. pattern. I don't know why the muskies like it, but they for some reason like it. So I'm just fixing it up a little bit. I want to make this look a little bit better. So I'm just kind of outlining the black with some white. Just to clean that up a bit.
All right, guys, I'm gonna let this dry, um, and then we will get to putting the epoxy on. All right, so this is the uh, epoxy that I use. It's called the Amazing Clear Cast. Um, it's just a 50-50, super easy to mix. Um, usually after I've mixed it, I let it set for about five to 10 minutes until it starts to get a little bit more tacky. That way you don't get so much runs and everything. And then after you have it coated, you just put it on the rotisserie and uh, a day later it's all hard but I would let it harden for at least five to six days and then start using it so I'll get this all mixed up all right it's been about eight minutes letting this epoxy set up so I'm gonna add some sparkles to my epoxy just a little bit of this extra fine glitter a little bit goes a long way all right, let's get started. So it's super simple. Just basically brush it on like you are painting something. I'm gonna start by getting in these tight little areas first. So you don't need to put a lot on there. Just a nice, even, thin layer. The other side. Avoid getting it on the hinges just because then obviously it's not the lure's not gonna move properly. Alright, we got that all nicely coated. If you don't get in there, then the problem is that's where the paint will start to wear off. Now we just brush her on. So, uh, nice even layers. Don't worry about it. if it's not smooth as it's on the rotisserie, it will start to lay flat. But you just want to make sure you get every area covered. You don't leave any spots. But once you get this epoxy on there, that's when it really starts to come to life. The colors start to pop. This is probably my favorite part. Especially when you do scale patterns and stuff like that, which we'll do in a later video. Try to avoid getting the eyelets where your hooks go. You have a fairly long working time with this epoxy, so you don't have to rush. Definitely not like that five minute epoxy. Plus the five minute epoxy just doesn't give you a very nice finish. Spread this around, get the top here. Like look how much brighter that green gets once you put this on there. All right, there you have it all coated in the epoxy. So now we're just gonna throw it onto the, uh, the rotisserie. Let it keep spinning around and around and around. That way you don't get any drips or pools. So I just took one of those barbecue rotisseries and made this little contraption. That way I can clamp my uh, lures on there and let them spin around. And the reason we wanna do this is just to stop any pooling you don't get any drips and you get a just nice even clear coat all the way around the lure all right so i will uh, see you guys when this is all dry in a couple days and we'll show you the finished product all right she's all done our epoxy's cured for 48 hours and she's ready to fish which is good news because i just lost my other lure this past weekend but i think it looks pretty sick let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'll show you the other side here. Yeah, what a difference it makes once you get that epoxy on there. Just makes it super shiny, durable, and uh, hopefully it starts catching me some fish. So in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be painting a few more lures. Um, I'll be doing more advanced styles and techniques. So stay tuned for that. Um, and if you have any questions, leave that in the comments down below. Also, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button. But anyway, it's getting late, so I'm going to head to bed. And I will see you guys in the next video.